Hi, I'm Tracy Pierce. Thanks for joining me for this Live with the Animals video series. So this video series was really born out of what was happening here in the United States in March of 2020. The coronavirus had made its presence known, uh, places were going into lockdown, and um, I really just became curious about what the animals thought about all of this. And they really encouraged me to start this video series. And when we started, there were a lot of domestic animals that we talked to, but several wild animals as well. And here we are now in August of 2020. And yeah, we're talking to a lot of wild animals still and not doing it every day, but usually at least two or three times a week. I've been interviewing some animal friends that have been showing up in my life. And it's been really fun and more animals just keep showing up and asking me to share their wisdom with the world. So that's what I'm doing. So today we're gonna to talk to this cricket friend of mine. Um, it kept showing up outside my, my door and there's something about the, their sound that really draws me in and this cricket really wanted me to take its picture and share some wisdom with us today. So if you're joining me live, um, if you're on Zoom, if you would like to get in on the conversation, if you have a, a question or comment for the cricket, look at the bottom bar there. There should be a little button that says chat. Click on that, type in your question. And if you're joining me on Facebook, just type your question into the comments. So I'm going to go ahead and get quiet and start tuning into this cricket and see what it would like to share with us here today. It's reminding me to make sure my phone's off. It is. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, so the, when I first start to tune into this cricket, what I... What comes forward first is their sound. It's kind of pointing to the sound that it makes. So what is it you would like for us to know about the sound? So what it's showing me is if you get really still and kind of quiet and almost almost like a meditation kind of state you're going into the cricket is showing how like if you're sitting and you're meditating and you're listening to the sound of a cricket like a real live cricket it's saying like a recording just won't quite do it's showing how there's a way of feeling the sound that the cricket makes and it it like draws your energy up that's what the cricket is saying. It's like it connects. The sound of the cricket has the possibility of connecting you into like a um, kind of like a blueprint or the higher archetype of what a cricket is meant to be here on earth. There's a way to connect through the sound to feel the blueprint of a cricket. Hmm. So what about, like, is there something about the blueprint of a cricket that you want us to know about? Okay, so it's reminding me, gosh, I can't remember who I had this conversation with. Um, that there is something actually very angelic about the sounds that a cricket makes. It's, so this conversation I had with somebody was about, um, I can't remember if they sped, like they recorded the cricket sounds and then they either sped it up or slowed it down. I, I can't remember which, but um, when they did that, the sound of the crickets became this like angelic music. And it's showing how their crickets hold this kind of angelic force in, in their little insect bodies while being on earth. Okay, wow. Can, can you tell us more about that? Like, um, 
how, like, can you tell us more about bringing those angelic qualities? Like, is there a way we could feel that more or something you want us to know about that? It feels pretty big actually. So what it's showing me is like this higher wisdom of the God or gods or source or however you think of a higher power. It could just be nature, like the, the wisdom of nature. But this cricket is showing how this higher power has programmed certain species, certain plants. Um, in this case, it's saying the, the cricket with these angelic forces such that it's like a way of spreading seeds of light almost around the earth. Like, because crickets, I mean, they're, they live almost everywhere, don't they, around the world. They're, they're not specific, so just to one area. And he's showing how there are other insects like crickets that have this similar kind of angelic quality, but specifically crickets. Um, yeah, they just keep showing me, it's almost like a packed thought form of the wisdom and how one of the ways um, this higher power spreads divine light through the world is through little animals like crickets who can hold this specific kind of angelic quality. Do you want to show me more about that? Like, how do you guys... Um, do you spread that in a certain way or is your, is your job just to hold it? Well, really our job is just to hold it. And we really like it when, you know, people who are perhaps a little bit more spiritually aware or have done, you know, have really walked on a spiritual path of awakening. When, when, when those kind of people there, there's this possibility of them tuning into us is the cricket is like, there's this hope that um, somebody like a human who's maybe a little bit more enlightened will come along and tune in. There's a way then that the crickets connect the person to that higher light as well. And then the light can come through the person. It's like a network that's waiting to be opened is what it's saying. It's like there's this possibility for humans to really tap into the cricket and angel network, if you will. So do you feel like, like as we're talking here, I kind of get the sense of like the human linking up their energy with the cricket somehow is is that your perception of it as well yeah it, it's opening to the possibility of you know this creature holding holding something amazing so the cricket is telling me you know humans we tend to think that other humans are very important and we generally as a race as a species tend to value other humans more than, than other animals. And so this cricket really has the hope of more people becoming aware of and, and you know, becoming more in tune with the animals. This cricket feels like human attunement to animals is one of the really great ways for humans to become more aligned with their own angelic nature animals tend to be more innocent. Um, they, they don't hold on to things in the same way that humans do. It's showing how humans' um, emotional body, if you will, there's a lot of different names for it in, in different traditions, but that layer of our energy that really deals with emotions um, and, you know, samskaric, old wound kind of things. This, this, this cricket is showing how humans are much more impacted by that layer. There's something about the way it, um, it just touches our energy and impacts the other things that happen in our energy that um, for some reason it's saying humans just hang on to those things that hit the emotional layer more than animals. 
And that's how we, the cricket is saying that's how we as humans come to forget our angelic nature so much. And there's a way of, use, of using or letting the animals kind of tune us back into that more angelic kind of higher, higher place. It's more like the animals are really trying to help us remember. That's what the cricket says. Hmm. Now there's a big space you really pass with that. Take a moment to check for questions here. All right, I'm not seeing any come through, although it may be that my Facebook is really behind lagging. So if I'm not seeing a question, I apologize. I'll come back and look later and hopefully it will pop up. So Cricket friend, I wonder what else you might like to share with us today? I felt like um, it was really your sound that drew me to you to find you and take this picture. What else would you like to, to share with us today or any wisdom you might want the humans to know about you or the world? Any advice you might have for us? So I'm not sure what this means quite yet, but what the cricket is showing me is these different life cycles. So, you know, like it's showing the cricket life cycle, life cycle is kind of a smaller circle. And then, you know, animals that live longer, it's, it's got a little bit bigger circle. And then like humans, it's bigger. And elephants probably even bigger, right? And it's showing how, it's like showing each individual life cycle as a, like literally a circle moving. And there's this, it's interesting, like all these circles kind of moving at the same time and they're different sizes, but there's a way showing like the different, you know, different animals have different lengths of, of life. And there's a way that this actually combines all together. I feel like there's more to that. Is there maybe something I missed or I'm not understanding quite yet? Can you? Show me more. So, okay, wow, this cricket is really using a lot of sound to explain things. Um, so it's, it's showing like the little circles might have, it's showing like a particular sound. And then like the bigger circles have a different, like maybe a little bit lower frequency. And it's showing that like how the sounds all kind of work together to make a harmony. So it almost feels like what you're showing me now is that there is a good harmony. Like what, what I'm hearing is a good harmony. Is that what you're trying to show? So it's showing Gosh, I can't remember which animal we talked about this with previously. Um, maybe one of the bees. But talking about how, you know, mosquitoes in themselves are not bad, but it's, it's more of a balance thing or ticks or these kind of more parasitic kind of um, critters. Like they're not bad, but it has to do with the balance and showing how okay now there's way more mosquitoes or these kind of more pest kind of animals that you know bug livestock bug humans um and it's showing how it's when those particular it, yeah it's showing the balance getting off and then the sounds i hear become like okay it's more it's more harmonious when it's in balance but then when these other um when it becomes out of balance, it, like I hear it becoming more dissonant and like not nice to listen to. And yeah, the cricket's really showing like, it's really listening to sounds to judge, if you will, how harmonious things are in the world. So do you feel like things in general right now are fairly harmonious? So it's showing me, it's almost like it's showing me this musical score over, over time. And it, it's almost like, 
the notes were very harmonious when things started over here. And as time has gone on, it's, it's gotten a little bit more dissonant and harder to listen to. Do you feel like we're, we're really on this path of, of dissonance and things becoming more like, um, not so great with each other or not in harmony? So it's showing like all this stuff with coronavirus, it feels like has created almost like um, like a crack or a gap of something. It's like we um, kind of came through the gate of this coronavirus thing and it's showing, it's interesting because it, it feels like a fork in the road, but it also kind of feels like um, standing on the edge of something like it, um, on the precipice, like looking over like, oh, we could go this way or we could go this way. It feels like, it feels like the coronavirus thing it says has brought to light the whole, like the world, the global, how we relate to each other. Uh, it's showing, you know, how different countries are now, you know, like U US citizens, we're not allowed to go very many places right now. And I'm sure that's true in, you know, different other countries around the world as well. And like it's created these, these cracks and breaks. And this cricket says, I, I don't know what's gonna happen. There's a really, it's like we're standing on the edge of a new era somehow is what the cricket says and Yeah, this is something we talked about in, in another animal interview too. Again, I don't remember which one about how with coronavirus, like virtual reality is becoming so much more of a, a real thing, you know, where is this going to change things to the point where, you know, it's just not safe to go outside anymore. So you just put on your VR goggles and, and go do your work that way from the safety of your own home. Um, yeah, this cricket is like, I really can't predict what's gonna happen in the future, but I see there's like this possibility of these, like coronavirus has provided this uh, possibility for ways to fraction and change in, in ways perhaps many humans have never imagined before. All right, my cricket friend, I don't see any questions popping up from you from our viewers. I wonder if there's, we're kind of coming to the end of our time here today. I wonder if there's anything else you definitely want to share with us. Anything I missed? Words of wisdom you want us to be sure to know. It says hope is really important. Um, and it's, it, it's saying like in general, but also pointing quite specifically towards me in that, you know, sometimes things really do seem hopeless, but there's this sense of like, no matter what, life will go on. Like, okay, fine. Maybe humans blow up the earth and, you know, yeah, like the, the, there's like this cricket is like, there's, there's more to life than just being human. It's kind of showing life out in the, the universe, life forms that humans can't even comprehend or um, understand at this point in time. Like there are other forms of life in the universe is what this cricket is saying. And he's like, there is an attachment also to being human. Like, what if Tracy, you could, you could be born into a different solar system in your next life? What would that be like instead of being attached to being human? Okay, that could be interesting. I'm, I'm open to that, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's just really encouraging us humans to find things that give us hope in our everyday life. Like, it's reminding me, like I, I open when I opened up the news when I got up this morning and kind of looked at things. It's really easy to like start off your day, like look at the news and then just crash. Like, oh my God, there's all this horrible stuff going on in the world. How could I possibly have hope? Saying like, if there's a way to cultivate hope for yourself somehow, even if it's in the background, like maybe it's reading about animal sanctuaries or you know how they have all those cute little stories about animals that 
looked all terrible when they got rescued and then they you can see how much they grow just from being loved and come into like having their full fur and things like that um, this cricket really really encourages us to find ways to bring hope into our lives that it's a very very important thing to remember and bring in that's a great message to leave us with thank you so much cricket So thanks so much to all of you who joined us here today. Doing these video sessions is always so interesting for me. I never know what the animals are gonna say. And you always have the most interesting words of wisdom. So I'm planning on continuing these for at least the next five or six weeks. So I hope you'll join us again. And until next time, take care and be well.